California Phantom here. I'm sure most of you already known about the leak late last night. Uh, looks like an unofficial Chinese website posted some prototype uh, images, which I will have links to in the description um, of the new potential DJI Spark. Now, there's a lot of rumors going on. Is it going to be a selfie drone? Is it, uh, is it DJI's first attempt going into the FPV racing scene? And honestly, my, my interpretation and what I see from it, it actually does look like it's going to be an FPV drone. Um, and here's why. Most companies, uh, when they start off like a fledgling company, uh, I'll give you Tesla, for example, they start off big at a premium price point. Uh, they're going to get a lot of uh, revenue based on that price point because the cost of manufacturing is pretty low and they don't have to make a ton of units. Now, it uh, makes sense with, uh, with the DJI, with the Matrice, the, uh, the Inspire 2, uh, Inspire 1 series, the Phantom series, which was kind of mid-range. Uh, now we have the recently uh, released Mavic. Um, I think Mavic serves as an important reminder of the um, awesome demand DJI had, which leads me to my uh, hope and my fear uh, is that if this is going to be an FPV drone, uh, they have to have all of their manufacturing settled. They have to have a huge uh, support network of uh, repairs and facilities to be able to handle the massive load that's going to basically uh, end up happening as a result of uh, FPV drones. The nature of an FPV drone is that they're going to break, they're going to get crashed, and um, you're going to definitely want that support network up. Maybe the Mavic was that uh, teetering point to get all of that in place um, for this new drone. Um, I will dispel uh, um, some of the rumors. From the images that I've looked at, and some of my contacts, it, it actually doesn't look like it's a gimbal. A lot of people are mentioning or saying or suggesting that it's a gimbal on the on the Spark. I don't believe it's a gimbal at all. Um, I believe it's a, a pivoting um, uh, camera, a lot like uh, what you'd see in a typical FPV uh, setup. And um, you know, while it could serve a purpose as a selfie drone, I think uh, with the impending release of the uh, DJI uh, branded goggles I think it would be the perfect opportunity to be able to pair that new technology to an FPV drone. So the most important aspect about this that I hope DJI gets right is the price point. Most FPV drones if you're anything beyond $300 uh, you've priced yourself completely out of the demographic out of the market so um, it's important that DJI uh, prices this drone if it ends up being an FPV drone no more than a $300 price point. Now from the images I can see that um, there are vision sensors as far as front facing or rear or side facing sensors there doesn't appear to be any. The motors look very very similar to the Mavic's motors with the same sort of split rotor um, system that the Mavic has. With the Spark having a reduced size over the Mavic yet having the battery remain the same it's actually easy to conclude that this uh, DJI Spark should have in excess of 40 minutes of flight time. Because of the reduced form factor uh, both in the arms and in the uh, general aerodynamics of the Spark uh, people are suggesting that this drone should easily handle in excess of 60 miles per hour. So I don't know about you guys but I'm pretty excited about this spark leak. Um, it's sort of a new path for DJI and I think that it could really lead to bigger and better things to the mass market. Um, FPV is, a, is an unforgiving sector uh, in drones and in, in the hobby in itself and I'm kind of curious to see what, what you guys' opinions are so go ahead and leave a comment. Um, if you like the video please subscribe, like, share and um, until the next adventure.